Hello and hey howdy. Coming to you with a great video comparing the FS140 to the FSPD140. And I didn't even know the bolt shield existed until several of you said, hey, have you seen this? It's like, no, I haven't. So we have one here today. We're gonna go over the specs and talk about it. I wanna say right up front, is click like and subscribe of course you guys are great i love love the uh the questions and the humor uh one of you teasing me about my affinity for the ch panel even with their recall recently well last year two years ago but right away i want to reference it'll help you and help me a bunch as we're talking about the ratings differences between these two surge protectors same manufacturer and that is in Paul will put this in hopefully the uh, comments or the notes below. It is www.nemasurge.org. I went to the FAQs because as you're comparing these, which is interesting, even in the same manufacturer, there's some confusion about terms. And you would think that the listing of specs between these two, the FS140 and the FSPD140, that they would be exactly the same. They're not. So we're going to cut to the chase. We're going to do some physical differences there. But I wanted to bring up a couple of things. I've checked with my Siemens wholesaler, and they're checking upstream. As far as I know, there's no truth to the idea that the FS140 will stop being produced. I don't think that's a thing. Uh, right now, again, their prices are pretty much the same between these two. The biggest difference, and you'll see here in a second when we get to the whiteboard, is the SCCR rating, and I'm on the NEMA surge protection site because they actually explained it pretty well. Um, and again, it's confusing because we get a lot of different uh, measurements when it comes to marketing that aren't necessarily relevant to say, how well does this really protect my house? So the short circuit current rating, and I'll just read this to you if you don't go there. Basically, the suitability of an SPD for use in the circuit is capable of delivering not more than a declared RMS symmetrical current, a declared voltage during a short circuit condition. Now, here's the important part. SCCR is not the same as the amp interrupt interrupting capacity, which is why we have that device and are thinking about putting it in our panels. Uh, it's not the short circuit capacity. SCCR is the amount of available current that the SPD can be subjected to and safely disconnect from power source under short circuit conditions. And you're gonna see, I'll bottom line this now, but we'll go to the, the uh, whiteboard here shortly because it um, has colors and it's really cool. Is the SCCR rating is the primary difference between the FS140 and the Bolt Shield. And really, again, according to the NEMA Surge Institute, that's really, um, how much fault current it could be subjected to in the system itself. So here's why this is relevant. Most of our houses, our breakers, if you look at the surge or the fault current rating, are only rated for 10,000 amps as far as fault current. And usually that's what's coming off the pole or underground from our utilities. If you look at your circuit breaker up close, you'll, say that you'll see the rating on it says 10 KAIC. And that's what that's about. So as we get going here, you're going to see, uh, as we do a side-by-side -side comparison, that's about the only significant difference. Um, definitely encourage you to go to the site, www.nemasurge.org. Go to the FAQs, pretty much bottom line, but technically correct explanations. Let's get going. Let's talk about technical comparisons with the FS140, FSPD140. The primary difference is in uh, short circuit rating as far as amperage. FS140 is rated 100,000. This is rated 200,000. As far as the, that doesn't affect the performance per se as much as um, how much fault current it can withstand in the system you're installing it in because most of these other ratings are similar. Let's keep moving. Operating voltage here, again, FS140 is a lower voltage, which is better than the FSPD. Uh, voltage protection rating is also lower than the FSPD. The surge amp readings are the same. 
Installation, we already talked about. I think the FS140 is definitely more installation friendly than the FSPD. The warranty is the same on both of these. So, and right now the price between these is also very, very similar as far as availability. My question would be here, here let's put down this, uh, price is pretty much the same. My big question is why, maybe you guys can help me out, why does the bolt shield exist? It's virtually the same uh, surge protector, except it's more difficult to install. Um, and we'll talk about the alarm functions here in just a second. But between you and me, I don't see a difference in this surge protector versus the FS140. Um, so the physical differences and how they impact installation between these two surge protectors. The FSPD bolt shield has the built-in male three-quarter inch uh, nipple, which is kind of cool. The downside is they only have 18 inch leads. And although it's physically smaller than the FS140, there is no flush plate at this point for this. And of course the FS140, as you remember, has a flush plate and has the full 36 inch long leads.